Nice tall nut. That's what that should look like. Isn't that a lot nicer? That's beautiful. Let's get the clamp. Well, I'm back to exercising my proper washer fetish. This is the tailstock clamp. Look at these plated washers. This is ugly. The nut I like. It's tall. But eh, these are not proper washers for a lathe. We're going to make good ones. And... I'm going to touch the bevel on here. Good. Speed this baby up. That's what must have fell. My chuck key is missing. Bigger than half inch, that's what I wanted. far with that one. Can't believe how quickly I lose things. Ah, here it is. Make this washer about three sixteenths to a quarter of an inch tall.
So I've had problems with this uh, with this cutoff tool and this piece of material. This was part of a long shaft and I cut it off. And when I got in about this deep, I started having problems with it wanting to take a big, big cut and snag. It's quite a struggle. I finished it with the hacksaw. Yeah, Bison, I use a hacksaw on my lathe sometimes. Sometimes it's just faster. I think I'm out of square because I, I hear a rubbing on the inside of this build up and then I back off my compound a little bit and it gets better. So that's probably really what the problem is. I'm probably over like this a little bit. Wow. And my one belt that I haven't replaced is causing my lathe to vibrate. It's not a thinner. That belt slips really easy. So the fact that the lathe can come to a stop probably is making this problem worse. See, what ha I'm advancing very slowly and I get a cut. I'm still advancing and I won't get a cut. And then pressure will build up and we start getting a cut. Look at that. Man, that sucks. I have to really take it slow. Maybe I should sharpen that tool bit. You know what? I'm going to lower it some. Maybe the work is hitting the uh, face of the bit. Might be better. Nope. Well, I think I may finish this with the hacksaw. Just because I'm going to face off the other side, anyways. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. Got to do what works. carriage out of here. good on my blade to hit that ice pick, is it? There we go. Look at that lousy finish. Terrible. I'm going to look at this surface here and see how it runs. Terrible. That's pretty decent. That, my friends, looks like a proper washer for a tailstock. Clean up this edge.
here we are. Let's get rid of that junk. Aha! Let's put my washer on there. Yeah! That's what it's supposed to look like. Now, a little thin standard washer on top of that wouldn't be a bad idea. It wouldn't look bad at all. Look at that. Nice tall nut. That's what that should look like. Isn't that a lot nicer? Man, if you got this kind of garbage on your lathe because somebody lost the good washer, or they gave you a crappy washer, make a new one. Make your tool as good as it can be. I don't, I don't know. I just, I can't leave junk like that on a lathe. I'm going to make it new again. If I can possibly help it. That wrench almost looks like it's a 32nd too big. Or maybe that hex is a 32nd too small. Ah, new owner can replace that or machine up a new one if he wants to. Easy enough project. Yeah, baby. I love that. Let's see our tailstock lock works. Let's see our uh, tailstock lock works. Awesome. This baby's getting to be close to done. Here's the tailstock wrench. My favorite free painting cleaner, degreaser. Wash this in my parts tank pretty thoroughly. Let that dry. I'm shaking my can of paint properly. Pay attention. Look how fast this is drying. Come on, dry. I can see a dark spot. Watch your eyes. Could have stripped that wrench and made it a little better looking, I think. I think I got all surfaces covered. Looks good, looks good. Let me get that one more. Hope I don't get a run because of that. You can see a little spot under there. No run. No run, please. E forty. Yesterday about eight of them came over. All at once. Oh, there they are over there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Only saw three of them. There's the, there's the ninth one coming in. Only saw three of them directly over the house. Warming up to make a warbird pad. 